Okay, I got a great story for you here. Every day we give you Mission Possible, somebody who did something uh, to, to make the world a bit of a better place, something that you might even be able to do. And here we're talking about uh, a kid who was 10 years old uh, who, who came upon the fact that some people just don't have shoes, and he decided he was going to do something about it. I'm going to let him tell you the story. I want to introduce you to Jacob Rice. He's the founder of Shoe Giver of Tampa, Florida. Jacob, welcome to the show. Uh, I, I, want, I want you to tell us our story. There's a gentleman on the right. I'm not going to tell you about him just yet. Yeah, he's just going to wait there for a second. Uh, Jacob, I, wanted to, I want you to tell us your story. What happened? Hi, Ali. Thank you for having me. Um, so when I was 10, I, uh, I wanted to do something to make a difference in my community. And I called the CDC, which is the Corporation to Develop Communities. And when I asked what was the biggest need of children who, who are economically disadvantaged in East Tampa, I was told shoes, and huh. so that was how I decided that shoes were what I was going to give. And what were you going to? How were you going to do this at ten years old? How were you going to get anybody shoes? Well, my my initial idea was to call big companies, uh, big shoe companies, sneaker companies, and and ask them if they would donate shoes to my cause so that I could get these kids brand new shoes. All right, now you're the ripe old age of fourteen. Yes, sir. All right. And then the guy on the right of the screen here is, is Wayne Elsley. He is the founder and CEO of Souls for Souls, joining us from Nashville. Uh, Wayne is a, a veteran of the shoe industry, the footwear industry. He's been in it for a long time. Wayne, wh how did you and Jacob get together? You know, we, we connected. I saw what he was doing down there, and I said, wow, that's really cool. So I picked up the phone, and I called him, and I said, you know, what can we do together? You know, I really want to stand behind you and your cause because, you know, he's the future. You know, 14-year-old guy doing what he's doing is pretty awesome. And I said, you know what, I want to tag my name to him. You got some, you're, you sort of have been doing something similar. You were in the footwear industry, and you, over the years, uh, when you saw the, I guess it started with the, uh, the tsunamis in Asia. That's right, absolutely. You know, I was sitting on the couch, matter of fact, watching your newscast uh, during the Asian tsunami, and I saw this single shoe float up the day after Christmas, and I said, you know what, you're a fool if you don't do something about this. So I started collecting shoes. Thought we were going to collect a couple thousand, literally a couple hundred thousand pair later, uh, we sent to the tsunami, and it's really catapulted since there. You know, right now, there's still 300 million children around the world that don't have a pair of shoes, and we give away a pair of shoes every seven seconds all around the world. Jacob, now what did you guys do together? Um, Wayne and I uh, have made it, well, Wayne's helped me out with my mission to get every child in need in East Tampa a new pair of shoes. So Wayne, when I, when I need new shoes, I'll, I'll call Wayne, I'll call Souls for Souls, and Souls for Souls helps me to get whoever I've measured, because I measure kids' feet, whoever I've measured new, a new pair of shoes, and that's how Wayne and I work together. This, this big business about measuring is interesting, uh, Wayne, because when you were involved, I guess it was in uh, getting shoes to kids in, or in Katrina, that was one of the things that you realized, that people were taking whatever shoes they could uh, if they couldn't afford shoes and, and didn't even have shoes that fit them. Yeah, absolutely. You know, there was one instance, a kid wore a size 10, he had on a size 6. And the other difference in size was a piece of duct tape that his mom and dad did. And, you know, this is right here in America. You know, there's a natural disaster happening in people's life right here in America. And that's why I've made the motto that we're going to change the world one part at a time. Whether it's one pair yep. or whether it's a huge natural disaster, we're going to make a difference in people's life with the gift of shoes. Now, now Wayne, you've been in the industry for a long time. Uh, you, you've almost re sort of retired from the industry. Now this is what you do. You, you get people's shoes. Jake. Uh, again, at the ripe old age of 14, I assume you're still in school and you have schoolwork to do. So how do you manage uh, doing all of this and, and uh, going to school? I am in school. And uh, for me, it's really been all about finding a balance uh, to, get, to get whatever I need to get done for Shoe Giver of Tampa, my organization, and also maintain good grades in school. Uh, my biggest challenge is is not necessarily balancing the time it's been getting shoes for these kids mm -hmm. so if i need to set aside a certain amount of time to do shoe giver of tampa and do what it takes it, that doesn't matter to me i do whatever it takes and i take as much time as i need to make sure that i provide excellent service and a brand new pair of shoes for every kid who I, who I reach out to. Wayne, if Jacob takes over the world, I'll be very happy because he's driven. He's clearly going to solve a lot of problems in the world, but, given, but driven for the right reasons. I mean, that's, that's as perfect as it gets, right? Somebody with his, uh, his, his, uh, his forcefulness uh, and yet with the right cause in mind. 
Absolutely. You know what? I hope Jacob can be the next CEO of Souls for Souls because, you know, I'm not 14, I'm 45. So, you know, I want him to continue his education. I want, to I want him to continue with his huge heart yep. uh, to make a difference because that's what it's all about. All right. This was a double for us. This was a twofer to get both of you guys on Mission Possible. Uh, Jacob, what an inspiration to kids your age, kids who are 10 years old who are watching or whose parents are watching and saying, what can I do to make a difference? You just took something simple and something small and you did that. Wayne, thank you for identifying what he did. And, and, and making that into a reality, scaling it up so that you can both make a big difference. We're really proud to know both of you. Thanks very much. Thank you. Thank you, Allie. All right, if you want to see more about this, go to my blog, cnn.com slash Allie. We'll po point you uh, in the right direction for this.